going on a date. I'm going on a date. Oh my god. I'm going on a date. Hey guys, it's Molly here again, and this video is sponsored, brought to you by Love, Beauty, and Planet. They're helping me get ready for my hot date tonight. Today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me, which I've never done before, so I'm super excited about it. The first thing I need to do to get ready for this date is wash my hair and I need to take off this makeup because I've had it on all day and I want to be fresh, clean, smelling and looking my best for this guy. Um, so, Love Beauty and Planet sent me some of their hair care products to wash up with. First, they're a really cool brand. Love Beauty and Planet is a sustainability focused brand that aims to make the world a little bit more green, a little bit more beautiful. They also sent me their hair oil and their um, hairspray, which both also smell incredible. This one, the jasmine scent, so good. And it's so cool because you can see there's like air in the bottom. So it's not a typical aerosol can. It like is an air pump that shoots it out. Wait, let me show you. Ready? Shh, shh, ooh. Yes, so good. Another thing I love about this brand is that they have a real focus on trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. So the packaging for the shampoo, the conditioner, and the hair oil are all made of recycled materials and are recyclable. However, you do have to put the cap back on the shampoo and conditioner bottles and the other bottles before you recycle it. And unfortunately, the pumps currently aren't recyclable, but they are working on it. All right, enough of me talking. I need to get going because I will be late if I don't get started getting ready. So I'm gonna go throw a bathing suit on and get in the bath and you're gonna come with me. And yes, I'm wearing a bathing suit in the bath because you don't get to see that. Look, my swimsuit matches my scrunchie. So stinking cute. Um, and my hair. So the bathtub's a little purple. I wonder why. Um, so don't mind that. Um, and yes, I'm having a bath, not a shower because when I'm in the shower, this is might be really weird. This is not, don't think this is like an every blind person thing. This is probably just a Molly blind person thing, but I get really like disoriented and then water is like hitting all my products and I can't find them and they fall and I'm turning around and I get all confused. So I get really like, I can get dizzy pretty easily and off balance pretty easily. So I always find it's like safer and more comfortable for me to be in a bathtub. So here we go. So I'm going to shampoo twice, condition once, take the makeup off that I've had on all day so I can redo it and be fresh for this guy. Um, do a nice face mask, got my skin all nice and glowy. So that's what you're gonna see now. Um, also, I have to say, my hair gets weighed down by conditioner super easily and this one doesn't weigh it down. So I really appreciate that. Let's get washing. fresh soy face cleanser to take my makeup off and my fresh face mask. I don't know. I don't know which one this is. It's one of them. <laughs> um, so I'm feeling good. Now I want to finish by taking any residue off with my toner. How do you guys get ready for dates? Let me know. Do you have like a go-to date place, a go-to date outfit? a go-to routine that makes you like feel confident when you're going out. I'm like new to the world of getting back into dating after, you know, a long time of not dating. So I've been like getting back on the horse, as they say, trying, trying to put myself out there. It's been fun. I'm always a little bit nervous before dates. So it's nice to like pamper and make yourself feel good. And then I'm just putting on my day cream because I'm going to do my makeup, so even though it's evening, I don't want to put on my night cream. Let's put this on my skin. Remember the days of dating, Mom, way back when? Way back when. It seemed to be a lot simpler, I have to say that. And then I'm going to grab, like, just one of these comfy, super, like, loose, flexible scrunchies. I'm going to take my hair down. 
out of the towel. If you guys want to see like my old hair care routine when my hair was virgin and 18 inches longer, um, I will link that below. I've definitely had to change my products up since then with a full head of bleach. So I love using hair products that are like specifically for dyed hair, for colored hair, for damaged or bleached hair. My hair is still incredibly healthy. Like every hairdresser or hairstylist who touches my hair is like, oh my God, what is this? And like everybody else with bleached colored hair, like bright colored hair is like, how is your hair still so healthy? So I'm really lucky. My hairstylist, Riza and Ricky do amazing, amazing work. I'm just going to take one small pump of this because a little bit really does go a long way. And I'm just going to focus it on my ends. I know a lot of people are going to wonder why I put my conditioner all the way up to near my roots. It's because I do have a full head of bleach. So, you know, when I, back when I just had virgin hair, I only did it from like here down to my ends. But with bleached hair, you know, I need a little bit more love, care, and affection. So that's that, and then I'm just gonna put it all up in a messy bun with this loose elastic, like I said, on the top of my head. Let that oil really sink in, have its moment. Again, that's the coconut and ylang, -ylang one. All right, I usually like to let my hair air dry a little bit before I take a blow dryer and put heat on it. I like to let it dry as long as possible. I'm going on a date, so I have a bit of a time crunch, so I'm probably not gonna let it air dry as long as usual, but I'm gonna sit, let it sit on top of my head and do a little bit of drying and let the oil sink in while I do my makeup. So let's go do that. <sighs> okay, makeup time. I'm gonna do some like glowy primer. One of, the, one of the benefit ones, I think it's like What's Up or something. Maybe that's a highlight, I don't know. But I really like wearing like really glowy products because I, I just love the way like bright glowing skin looks. It makes you look so healthy. You know, and I love just looking like naturally radiant and healthy. Also, I'm in this, um, this isn't going to be a tutorial, by the way. So if you want my makeup tutorial, I've done a couple in the past. I'll link them below. I'm going to be doing like speedy round makeup since I actually have to like be somewhere. Um, so this isn't going to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's just like us hanging out me doing quick time date night makeup um wearing my elephant robe that one of my fans one of my bees darion sent to my p.o box thank you so sweet p.o box is linked below by the way always bring it down to the chin i'm just doing it with my fingers sometimes i use a beauty blender sometimes i use a brush a lot of times i just use my hands it makes it quick easy to blend no fuss um, I'm feeling like tense, I'm feeling tense and I'm feeling stressed and some of it is probably definitely like going on the date, but I don't think I'm really that stressed about that. I'm also just like on my period and I'm tired and I feel like a woman <laughs> and I'm just like, ugh, you know, I don't know. We all feel like that sometimes, right? I never know if I have under eye bags to conceal. So I just conceal, I do it anyways. And I have a little bit of breakouts because like I said, I'm on my period. And I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get some hormonal breakouts. It's not bad though. This is, it was pretty good this time. I had a really bad one right here, but it's in recovery mode. So yeah, tell me what you're like, how do you, how do you date in 2019? What's your, like, what's your go-to app? What's your, what's your thing? Now that I'm like trying to figure out how to get back into it after like a year of like minimal dating, the only dates I did go on were bad dates, <laughs> which was really discouraging and I just kind of like gave up. But now I'm trying again. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier loosening powder. I'm almost out of this one, but I just got my first ever Laura Mercier PR package, which was super exciting. And she sent me more. I say she as if like she actually sent me product herself. And I don't bake and cake and all that jazz. Oh, I got a text. It's probably from him. So we're going out at eight o'clock. It's a Friday night. We're meeting at eight. 
and we're going to just grab a drink. I don't know where yet. I was like, let's just meet on this, like, at this place, and we can, like, walk from there. It's, like, near my apartment, but he doesn't know that. Because I don't let guys know where I live because I'm safe. So I meet them outside like a Starbucks nearby my apartment. That's like my go-to. And I'm like, let's meet outside this Starbucks. So it's really close for me. And it's like, but it's like also like just a very generic meeting place. And then, you know, we can figure out where we actually want to go from there. I've never done like a chit chat, get ready with me before. I've never done a get ready with me before. It's kind of fun. What do you think, Mom? Is it fun? I think I'm having a great time. It's entertaining me to no end. <laughs> I'm going to use Benefit's Hula Bronzer. Look at that. Almost out. That's love, people. Oh, my God, you guys. I got the worst spray tan. And I don't, like, I almost never do spray tans. Like, almost. I've gotten them maybe five times. But I get them for, like, really big photo shoots or something like that. And I had a really big photo shoot for a project I cannot yet disclose, but I will within the next few weeks. So exciting. And um, now I'm just going to like blend it, dust it all over. But yeah, so I got this spray tan last week. And oh my God, mom, wasn't it so bad? Yeah, it didn't Streaky, work out well. Streaky, patchy. I always go to the Bizarre. same. I always usually go to the same girl who's amazing. She was actually recommended to me by Nikki DiMartino, who I love, and I'm so sad she doesn't live in L.A. anymore. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, she just moved. Where? Yeah. Very sad. Ooh, what blush do I want to wear? Do I want to go with pink or coral, Mom? Coral. Coral? All right. I'm going to use this new Laura Mercier one that she also sent in the PR package. Pretty, right? Pretty. It's called peach. Is it like a corally color? Peachy coral? Yes. Actually, I'm going to change my blush brush. Um... So, can we tell the audience I'm lying in the most awkward position trying to film this? Yes, you can tell them, Mom. <laughs> I'm hanging on for dear life. I so feel like the, I'm going to slip off the bed. If the minute. camera is shaky. I'm doing my very, very doing best. best. I'm, I'm acting as a tripod. Everybody comment and tell Mama B how much we love her. Oh, thank you. We love Mama B. Love all you guys. Nice to Molly. Um, yeah, so Nikki DiArtino recommended her girl because we're both super fair girls. And she always does a great job, but I couldn't get her this time. So I went with a different girl. Oh my god, I spilled so much powder. Oops. Do you guys see that? Mm. I just put my hand down and was like, uh oh. That's Laura Mercier powder. Oh, what a waste. See, that's why I was always afraid to lose to use loose setting powder. But then I tried it for a video once. And I really liked it, so... You have to show your hood. It's so cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Very cute. Very cute. Um, now I'm going to use the exposed Tarte highlight. That radiant glow. But yeah, I was always afraid to use loose powders, and I still am for the most part, unless they're translucent. Like, I would never use, like, a loose highlight or something, because that just scares me. Because I could stain things. But I was always afraid to use loose powder. But I heard so many people raving about the Laura Mercier one. So finally for a video that I'll link below like a year and a half, two years ago. I tried it out. Love it. So good. I've been using it ever since. So you know you guys. Try new things. You might just find a fave. Alright, so makeup is done. I still have to do my lips. But I'm not going to... Like lips is like the last thing I do before I leave the door. So I pulled out two outfits. We'll and I think I'm going to try on the one with the star top and like the black and white with the denim jacket first. And if that doesn't look cute, I'll do the other one. The reason I'm leaning towards the star top and not the leopard one is because I just remembered I wore the leopard print one on a really bad date. Which maybe this is silly and it's like stupid and superstitious, but I'm like bad vibe, you know, like it went on one bad date with me. So I don't want to risk it. Like maybe it's the shirt. I think that's smart. It was definitely the guy, but it could be the shirt too. <laughs> um, okay, and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw that outfit on, brush my teeth, so I have minty fresh breath. 
gonna throw my perfume on. This is my go-to perfume combo. They're supposedly natural perfumes by La Vanilla. This one is vanilla and fresh lemon, and this one's vanilla grapefruit, and I combine the two together. I've gone through countless bottles of these. I'm 25, like I said, and I've been wearing these since I was in grade 12 in high school, like 17. So I always get compliments on these fragrances. I've never met anybody else who wears one of them, let alone the two together. So I constantly get compliments and ask what I'm wearing and nobody's ever heard of it, which I love. I'm not like, yeah, I smell like every other girl who bought this top five fragrance from Sephora. I get to be different. Um, and then I'm also going to do this. This is really cool. I got sent this from Becca Cosmetics the other day. And it's like this body stick. It smells incredible. It smells like summer. Um, like summer buttery oils. I don't know how to explain it. But it's a glow stick for your body. So I'm going to put some on my collarbones and like blend it out. So my collarbones will be popping. I'll have Mama Bear help me with that. Or Mama B, sorry. Um, and then... I'll join Mama you. Bee Bear. Mama Bee Bear. Mama Bear Bee. I'll join you then once I'm like in the outfit. See what Mama Bear thinks. Why am I calling you Bear? It's Mama Bee. See what Mama Bee thinks. Uh, and we'll Buzz. go from there. <laughs> Outfit's on. Honestly, not feeling very confident. I don't know. I don't feel good in it. Whatever. I'll wear it. I don't know. My like spray tan is so patchy. And I don't feel like I look good in it. You know what I mean? Do you want to see the show the spray tan? We've tried evening it out, but it's not good. And it's like washing off now too, so it's getting even worse. It's bad. Um, and I'm like bloated since I'm on my period. So I'm just feeling like not cute. I'm honestly not even very excited for this date. I'm using the wet brush. This is my favorite brush. And I always blow dry my hair upside down, which you'll see in a minute, because I have really thick, naturally straight, silky hair. And so if I don't like blow dry it upside down to try to get some volume into it, it's just so flat because it's just very heavy. It's like thick and heavy hair. So I'll blow dry and see you then. <laughs> leave it because I have straight hair I'm like just one of those people who's lucky so I don't have to like wait till it's fully dry to straighten it or curl it or anything I just I'm gonna leave my hair down like this a little damp like I said I don't put too much stress on myself to like look perfect in fact if I look perfect on the first date then I have to like keep that up I might as well just go feeling like chilling and low-key so this is how I look for my date popped on some purple lips to match my purple hair and add a bit of color to the outfit this Levi's uh, vintage denim jacket and then the rest of the outfit that you saw earlier along with these faux leather boots that I got a couple years ago at Zara all of you love these when I wear them and I thought all the silver tied in well um but I always mix metals obviously like all my rings and jewelry is always mix metals so this is gold hardware it's like a faux fur bag um but I think it looks cute with the outfit so mix metals who cares <sighs> all right wish me luck on this date We'll see how it goes. Here's the thing, guys, before I end this out. Um, like I said, we've been talking for a month. Usually I don't like to talk to a guy for quite that long because then if it's a flop, it's like, oh, that was like a month of my life talking to somebody that was a flop. So I usually go out with them within a week of matching on an app and talking. By the way, I did a video where my best friend Brayden set up my Tinder profile. If it's out yet, linked below. If it's not, it will be very soon. So that's how I'm going on all these dates now from that Tinder profile. Um, but yeah, he like kept pursuing a conversation but not asking me out. Um, and then finally he was like, maybe we should like hang out and work at a coffee, do work from a coffee shop together sometime. And I was like, is that your way of trying to keep it like low key? Like, I don't know. So I don't know. I don't understand his vibe. Finally, I was just like, hey, do you want to grab drinks on Friday before I'm out of town for a week? Because I was just like, let's just like meet up. Do the thing. Like, see if this is like, if we're, we could be friends, if we could be more than friends. 
if we're just not compatible in any way, like we might as well just get together and see. So I kind of had to pursue it a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what that means. You know, he's an entrepreneur. He travels a lot. I don't know. What do you think, mom? What do you think? I, I, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a big vibe about this, to be honest. You thought he was kind of good looking. <laughs> I did, did I look at that one? Sorry, you've had a few that I've been looking at, so I'm like a I'll little confused between I'll them I'll show all. you him again before I go out. I smell my hair, Mom, before I go. This is what he'll smell when he hugs me. Oh, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's kind of one of my favorite mm. smells in the world. So, um, wish me luck. I have, I have, if I had to guess, like gut feeling, if I had to guess how it's going to go, it's not going to go well. What's your gut, Mom? The same. Yeah. Yeah. I Partly feel, because of your energy is a little bit, you know, tired, a bit tired and stuff. Yeah. But sometimes, they always say the parties that you don't want to go to are the best parties. Yeah, who knows? I'm just hoping he, if he can carry a conversation and he's not awkward, we'll be fine. So update, I have to share. The date actually went really well. Period Molly was just being a Debbie Downer because she was hormonal and emotional. Speaking of period, Molly, if you want to know all about how I deal with my period as a blind woman, link below. Recently did that video for the first time and um, wow, that's been requested for years. So check that out. And mom also checked out the guy's Tinder profile after we finished filming, but before I went on the date. And what did you say, mom? Oh, that one, he has such a great energy. Yeah. She was like, oh yeah, no, he has good vibes. And then I went and checked him out and I said right away, I was like, he's a good one. She like, we did the sneaky, sneaky checkout where like, I was like, hey, meet me at the Starbucks. And then I was like waiting outside at one of their outdoor tables and she was waiting across at one of their other outdoor tables and like spying on us. If the guy is watching this right now, surprise. Um, anyways, thank you again to our sponsor of today. Love, beauty, and planet. Link below to check them out and all the other links that I mentioned throughout this video. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.